Hey guys, Brian Schultz here with Cape Falcon Kayak, and now that I have both a skin on frame canoe building course and a skin on frame kayak building course on my website, I thought I'd take a few minutes here to talk about the differences between these two types of boats so you can make the most informed decision possible about which boat you want to build or which boat you want to build first. All right, so when it comes to canoe versus kayak, the big difference here is seaworthiness. Anytime you're talking about heading out into open water where there's gonna be wind and where there's gonna be waves, a kayak is always gonna be a better choice for that because the deck is gonna shed water and the overall lower profile of the boat down in the water is gonna be less vulnerable to the wind, which means it's gonna be significantly easier to control, which means it's gonna be a lot safer in those circumstances. Now, another nice thing about a kayak versus a canoe is that a kayak is typically a little bit faster than a canoe because it has a narrower hull form, which means it slips through the water a little bit easier. I'm usually paddling about a half mile per hour faster in a comparably sized kayak versus a canoe. Not a huge difference there, but definitely something to think about. Now, another nice thing that relates specifically to my boats, which is my LPB and my F1 kayak design, is that both of those boats have had a tremendous amount of research and development that's gone into them. Literally 15 years of continuous design work, hundreds and hundreds of boats on the water, and I just think all of that continuous design effort has resulted in what I think are some pretty awesome paddling modern skin on frame sea kayaks. So those are some of the pros of a sea kayak. Now let's talk about some of the downsides. Now, anytime you've got a boat with a deck on it, a deck is going to add weight, it's gonna add expense, and it's gonna add time to your overall build. So if you're talking about the difference between a canoe build versus a kayak build, a canoe build or a kayak build is typically about 25% longer, 25% more expensive, and the boat that you end up with is about 25% heavier. And that's a significant difference, but when you think about it in the context of skin on frame in general, which is already an incredibly fast, and light and easy boat building system, it's not such a big deal that it should influence your decision one way or the other. You should always be building the right boat for the conditions that you're gonna be paddling in. Now, another downside to having a decked boat like this is that it's a little bit harder to put gear inside of it if you're going camping, and also the paddler is fixed in one position. Now, if you've got a comfortable, well-designed cockpit, like on my F1 or my LPB design, you should still be comfortable to enjoy sitting in that for hours and hours on end. But even with a really comfortable cockpit, there's a lot of people that are never comfortable restricted inside of a decked boat. And for those people, a canoe is definitely a better choice. Now, we've already talked about a canoe being less seaworthy, but inside of the conditions that a canoe is designed to be paddled in, which is winds less than 10 miles per hour and waves that are less than two feet, a canoe is actually more versatile than a kayak because an open boat means that it's easier to load gear in and out of. It means that you have more freedom in your paddling position. And it's just kind of a nice, more, I guess, relaxing, more open experience. It just means that you can't plow through really rough water like you would a sea kayak. Now, my boats are even more open than other canoes because they're built in balanced tension, which means that even though you can put thwarts and cross members in this, you don't have to have those in there. So you can take everything out, which means your canoe is completely open, which means you can lay all the way back in the canoe and relax if you want to. But more importantly, it means that you can build these in such a way that they can be nested together like Russian dolls, which is awesome because that allows you to store two or more of these boats in the same space as would normally be occupied by one. Now, in addition to that, this canoe also comes with a small sail integrated into the design. So it's sitting in the boat all the time. And anytime there's a favorable breeze, you can just pop it up. You can head downwind, you can head across the wind. And the whole thing is just designed to be really simple. It's a really moderate sail area. So as long as you're sailing responsibly, it's not likely to put you in the water. So that's kind of a neat feature as well. Another cool feature about my canoes specifically is that if you choose to do this, they have a system designed into them where a set of floorboards also doubles as a set of outrigger boards that allows two canoes to be catamaran together side by side to make a very stable boat. And we've used this in rough water successfully and it made the boats really stable and also it was just a really kind of interesting and fun experience. So that's another thing you can do with these boats as well. Now, in addition to any specific features of my canoes, the overall building system of both the canoes and the kayaks to some extent as well, is that it's system-based. So when you normally get a set of boat plans in the mail, 
you have to choose between one boat versus a different design. You only have a couple designs to choose from, but with a, something that's based on a set of formulas and a set of proportions, it means that you can plug in your body weight and what you want to do with the canoe, the conditions you're going to be paddling in, with, and you can design a canoe that is perfectly suited both to your body size and to the conditions you're going to be paddling in. So it's not just one canoe, it's as many different canoes as you want to build with a system that gives you good predictable results. Now in addition to that, we also don't place any limits on the number of canoes that you can build from one set of video courses and one set of plans. So as long as you're building the canoe for your own personal uses and you're not selling them commercially, you can build as many of these as you want. So there's a lot of value packed into both the canoe building system and the kayak building system. So hopefully that gives you an idea of some of the advantages and the disadvantages of choosing a canoe versus a kayak. If you have any more questions, feel free to get in touch with me. I am always happy to answer any of your questions, help you choose the right boat for you, and also help you during the process of your build. All right, that's it for now. Take care. I will see you next time.